The ability to read is an invaluable tool in the acquisition and communication of knowledge between one another, as well as between generations and even civilizations. In today's world, it has become fundamental in our education, our occupations, indeed, to the very fabric of our lives. Reading is one of the most valuable acquired skills we can have. Now, imagine living in a world full of symbols you don't understand, symbols that could make an enormous difference in your life. This is a distressing reality far too many of us face. Surveys show that nearly a third of eighth graders lack in basic reading proficiency, and about 15% of adults lack in basic reading skills such as the ability to read instructions or a paragraph in a newspaper. In this segment, we will take a look at how we learn to read and the parts of the brain that enabled us to accomplish this task. We will also review steps that parents, teachers, and policymakers can take to encourage the development of this fundamental skill. First, let's look at which parts of the brain are involved during reading. Researchers have identified three regions in the left hemisphere that are activated during reading. One area in the front and two areas in the back. According to a widely accepted model of reading, the area in the front is involved in making speech sounds. This area in the back has been called a word form area, where the whole word is stored as a pattern. And the other area in the back converts visual information such as printed words into sounds. Reading would be difficult if these areas didn't work well together. Unlike speech, the ability to read does not develop naturally. It must be learned with practice and effort. There are two skills that, if learned early, will help children acquire the ability to read. The first skill is an awareness of speech sounds. This is called phonemic awareness. It is the ability to notice individual sounds in speech and to manipulate them. For example, children must know that the word cat is made up of three separate sounds. A, t, and that changing the initial sound to b, for example, makes a different word, bat. The second important element is a basic knowledge of the relationships between letters and sounds. Children need to know that letters stand for sounds, a, a, b, b, and they need to learn what sound each letter or combination of letters represents. Bat, cat, if we start thinking of B sounds, words that start with B sounds, we might think of B. B. Oh, Research well, has shown that children can start short, acquiring so these pre-reading skills very early, providing them with a foundation to become better readers for life. In one study, a group of kindergartners who had low phonemic awareness engaged in an activity that let them tune in to the individual sounds in words. They played with picture cards like these picking up cards that shared the same sound. For example, ball, bag, and bee can be placed in the same group because they all begin with the sound b, while cat, cap, and cake can be placed in another group because they all begin with the sound k. Some of these children were also asked to pick out an alphabet letter that matched the sound. When tested after two years of practice, these children's reading skills were eight to ten months ahead of another group of children who sorted cards based only on the meaning of the card. To help monitor your child's progress in reading, here are some milestones you can look for. Young children at age three or four can start becoming familiar with rhyming. For example, by remembering nursery rhymes and playing rhyming games. By the end of kindergarten, children who are on track for reading development know all the letter names and sounds of the alphabet. They are also expected to have developed the skill to blend speech sounds to form words. Each of these skills has been found to predict later reading ability. By the end of third grade, they are able to read age-appropriate materials aloud fluently. These are only a few of the many steps of reading development. You can find more information in the supplemental section of this DVD. Reading is a complex task. As we saw earlier, using brain techniques, researchers have been learning how the brain accomplishes this task and how it changes as children learn to read. The Brain Development Lab at the University of Oregon 
used the magnetic resonance imaging technique to study changes in the brain as kindergartners developed their early reading skills. At the beginning of kindergarten, half of the children in the study were on track for early reading development. They had good knowledge of letters and phonological awareness. The other half of the children had not yet acquired these skills to the same degree and were at risk for later reading difficulties. When researchers looked at brain activations while these children were looking at letters, they found striking differences between the two groups. Soon after they entered kindergarten, the on-track children were already activating one of the reading areas in the back of the brain. But, unlike adults, activations were similarly strong in both hemispheres. The at-risk children did not show any activations in this area in either hemisphere. After a few months, the researchers looked at the brain activations of the two groups again and found that the at-risk children had now begun recruiting this reading area at the back of the brain. In the on-track children, activations were now confined to the left hemisphere as occurs in adults, suggesting mature specialization of the brain for letter processing. Some children struggle in learning to read and about one out of 10 school-aged children struggle with a severe form of reading difficulty called developmental dyslexia. Although these children may have normal intelligence, they lack an awareness of speech sounds. Adults who grew up with developmental dyslexia often show less activation of the areas in the back of the brain important for reading. A great amount of effort has been made to improve the reading skills of children with reading difficulties using instructional intervention programs. The common components of these intervention programs aim at increasing phonemic awareness by practicing, for example, separating sounds in words, blending sounds together to form words, or changing sounds in words to make different words. The programs also work on letter sound associations. While conventional tests allow researchers to track improvement in reading abilities in children, the brain imaging techniques allow them to examine how the intervention changed the recruitment of different brain areas. They can see whether the intervention has made weak readers' brains become just like strong readers' brains activating the same brain areas during reading, or whether the training made weak readers activate additional brain areas to compensate for the lack of activations in more typical reading-related areas. Some of these neuroimaging studies have shown an increase in activations in the reading-related areas after children went through successful intervention. The ability to read is essential in our society, and you can do a lot to help young children build strong reading skills. You can do simple, everyday activities, such as playing word games or singing nursery rhymes. These are fun ways to play and become familiar with speech sounds and they can help very young children increase their phonemic awareness. No, reading books to children is a wonderful way to help them develop their reading skills. If you have a young child, you can start with picture books that contain simple words. Asking a child to read aloud is a great way to notice how they are improving or if they are having difficulties. Start out by taking turns reading words or short phrases. Be sure that the child doesn't feel pressured to perform let them enjoy sharing reading experiences with you. With the right kind of help, even children with serious reading difficulties can improve their reading skills. Taking time to do simple activities with your children and monitoring their progress can make a big difference in their future. T. 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 You're good at this.